The beauty of Greece doesn't need any introduction. Be it any season, any month, Greece and the Greeks never fail to impress. The Greek gods have designed their country with utter perfection. With a myriad of ancient structures, gorgeous beaches, and architectural marvels, places to visit in Greece are full of heritage and natural beauty. When you find yourself in the place where the first steps of civilization were taken, you can't help but feel moved and curious at the same time. Sit back and relax as we take a look at the 10 best places to visit in Greece. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all our latest destinations. Number 1. Athens Athens is the capital of Greece, one of the oldest cities in the world, with more than 3,000 years of history. It has many monuments to visit, as the Temple of Zeus, or the ruins of the ancient Agora, which was formerly considered the beating heart of ancient Athens. However, the Acropolis is the main attraction in Athens. In ancient times, it was known as the Upper Town, used for worshipping activities. Here you can find ancient temples, altars, and even theaters. Some of the most recognized structures of Western culture are located in this place. For example, the Parthenon. Be ready for a significant amount of walking to reach the Acropolis, but the magnificent view towards the city of Athens and the architecture of its ancient buildings will make the whole walk worthwhile. Once you get hungry, go down to the neighborhood of Plaka, which is located at the foot of the Acropolis Hill. In this area, which is considered as Athens' main shopping district, you can find craft stores to clothing stores, tons of antique shops, and the best restaurants where you can indulge in traditional Greek cuisine. There is a lot of cultural activity, especially the open-air cinema, that uses some of the thousand-year-old amphitheaters. If you're looking for some quirky shopping, just a few blocks away from Plaka, you can find the Monasteraki Flea Market. Monasteraki Flea Market happens every Sunday, but the neighborhood is home to many strange antique stores, which are open daily. Number 2. Mount Olympus Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece, is a cultural, historical, and geological wonder. In Greek mythology, it was the home of Zeus and the ancient Greek gods. Today, organized mountain refuges and various mountaineering and climbing routes are available. Reaching its highest peak will satisfy advanced hikers looking for a challenge, while a large number of paths along the lower slopes will please even the laid-back travelers. Deep gorges, rocky pinnacles reaching the clouds, Wildflowers, exceptional biodiversity, and rich flora are being enjoyed by thousands of tourists every year. No wonder that Greek gods chose this place as their home. Number 3. Delphi Delphi is a small town with mountains full of olive groves. In ancient times, it was believed that it was the center of the world. Delphi makes you fall in love with its beauty even in the cold winter months. In this place, you can visit archaeological attractions such as the temples of Athena and Apollo. The Temple of Apollo, also known as the Delphi Oracle, is considered the most important religious center in Greece. You can enjoy a gratifying view of the ancient theater and the stadium. Number 4. Crete Crete is the largest island in Greece, the birthplace of the oldest civilization in Europe, with four main central areas. Both its architecture and its landscapes are extremely diverse. The Gnosis Palace is the most important archaeological site on the island. It was built around 3,000 years ago and has 1,400 rooms, tunnels, and crossroads. The palace contains a splendid temple that is known for its large size and other very charming buildings. Once in Crete, don't forget to visit Samaria National Park for a memorable hike. 
Elefanisi Beach, which is often cited as one of the world's best beaches, and Belos Lagoon, one of Crete's most famous images. If you're a real enthusiast of Greek mythology, don't leave Crete without visiting the island's highest summit, Mount Ida, where the Cave of Zeus is located. This place, according to Greek mythology, is where the mightiest god of Olympus was born. Number 5. Santorini Some people consider this island as one of the most beautiful in the world. It's adorned with beautiful villages of blue and white houses. From the port of Santorini, you have three options to visit the city of Fira, the capital of this island. The first option is the cable car, which leads you directly into the city. The second is by donkey, and the third is on foot. The city is not huge. You can get to know it in one day and enjoy its beautiful views. Its intimate atmosphere makes it perfect for couples. It has a spectacular viewpoint where you can enjoy a beautiful landscape and take excellent pictures. You can also go to other small towns on the island and visit its natural parks. Santorini is a volcanic island in its center and it has an active volcano that you'll be able to appreciate as a small island within the city. This volcano is now a national park which you can enter and enjoy a bit of volcanic air. Number 6. Mykonos This island is famous for its mills, for its narrow streets, for having an immense number of churches, and for its festivals. In summer, this place is buzzing with people. The atmosphere is festive, and you can enjoy the discos and nightlife. Compared to other islands, on this one, you'll find the highest diversity of people. Here you will find a variety of museums and numerous churches with chapels of Byzantine art. Mykonos is the perfect place to try Mediterranean cuisine, fresh seafood, and meze dining culture. Number 7. Rhodes According to Greek mythology, Rhodes was a gift from the god Zeus to Helios, the god of the sun. Since then, all citizens of Rhodes are considered children of the sun. This island is recognized worldwide because of one of the seven wonders of the world, the ancient statue known as Colossus of Rhodes, which at that time was the tallest statue in the ancient world. Even though the statue does not exist anymore, you will not be disappointed visiting Rhodes. It's practically an open-air museum. We recommend you visit the Cretinia Castle, the Monolith Castle, and the Butterfly Valley. Another excellent place is the Great New Market, which is located in front of the Mandraki Port. Number 8. Kos Fringed by the finest beaches in the Dodecanese, dwarfed beneath mighty crags, and blessed with lush valleys, Kos is an island of endless treasures. Visitors soon become blasé at sidestepping the millennia-old Corinthian columns that poke through the rampant wildflowers. Even in Kos town, the lively capital, ancient Greek ruins are scattered everywhere you turn, and a mighty medieval castle still watches over the harbor. On this island, you will find the famous tree of Hippocrates, a place where, according to tradition, the Greek physician Hippocrates taught his students. This beautiful island is great for biking due to its flat geography. Number 9. Paxos and Anti-Paxos Paxos is a very cultural and attractive island, famous for its number of olive fields. Enjoy its beautiful landscapes or visit its coast, full of peaceful caves and maritime views by boat. The best way to enjoy the vineyards and olive fields is by visiting Antipaxos, the island that connects with Paxos. Both islands are quite small, but with rich heritage. In Antipaxos, tourists are also attracted by its two small towns and its pristine beaches. Number 10. Zakynthos Zakynthos is famous for its gorgeous beaches. Navaggio Beach on the coast of Zakynthos is one of the biggest tourist attractions with incredible turquoise waters and white sand 
a true hidden paradise. Apart from Navaggio Beach though, there are many wonderful Zaquintos beaches you should visit, such as Laganas Zante, Yaracas Beach, Vasilikos Beach. After exploring the emerald bays of the island, take a break from the beach life to visit Zaquintos Town, the capital of Zaquintos. Strongly influenced by the Venetians, who had also named the island Fiore di Levante, or Flower of the East. It's also a party destination, so if you're looking for crazy nightlife, this island might be your perfect getaway. Whatever it is that takes you to Greece, the lore of Greek mythology, love of astonishing nature, desire to try Mediterranean cuisine, or seeking harmony and tranquility, you will get it all and more when visiting this unforgettable country. We hope that our recommendations will make your trip to Greece pleasantly memorable. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.